not about how much information that we are getting. It's about how much transformation we are going through with that information. If that information is doing the transformation, <laughs> then it can maybe called as knowledge, right? But as per as per <laughs> Srimad Bhagavatam, <laughs> right? If the information is not transforming for good, as per Srimad Bhagavatam, knowledge is that which distinguishes illusion from reality. Illusion from reality. Right? So knowledge is the one which, which, which tells us, it's talking about a subject, but it will tell you this is not correct and this is correct. Right? For the welfare of all. So this is uh, real knowledge. Right? For more than information, the source is the most important thing. The source of information is most important than the content. Like if you type Google, how many of us really verify the source of the information on any website? We are attracted by the content these days. How much graphical. So we have to catch up with this uh, modern technology. That's why we are using modern tools. You know, we upload so many things here, there, latest things. Okay. <coughs> All of us work as a team. So, so the source, like for example, right, your father and mother, they may not deliver a nice, wonderful lecture, or they may not always tell, uh, you know, very pleasantly. They may be harsh, but how valuable is that information that they give us? Because their intention, because we should understand, you know, what is their, how is your relationship with the source? Your intention will always be. Great. Although they may be lying to you sometimes. Sometimes you you feel, but they may be saying, Oh, you did a great job. Right? So the content is not important. The source, what they speak. For example, Guru. Right? We all have Gurus. Guru Mataji, myself, Swayam Prabhu. Sometimes you, you go to Guru. Right? So we go in a mood that, Oh, let me get knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. No, he no, he's a source. He's a, he's a representative of God for us. Just being in... In his presence, uh, we are learning a lot. Just by being in presence. He may not open his mouth. Just by See, this is how it works. So, <clears throat> God is, is the ultimate source. I mean, you all have defeated that. Definitely. God, Google is not eternal. God is eternal. So many nice points, which I didn't even think of. Okay. Right? But, uh, but this is very important, that the content, people just... Net, generally, our mind is the moment we come to the material world, we are all everyone likes negativity because that's how we are conditioned. Right? We are finding faults and we want to hear gossips. This is the nature of the mind. That's why we are here. This material world is purifying us slowly. So now, this information, what people search, they are looking for first this bad information first. News means in the olden days, right? News means it's always good news. They only spread good things. Bad things they hide. Right? Let's say if, if everyone hides that this there are rogues, thieves and all kinds of crimes going on, then even if your mind says, let, let me steal this thing, but because you've never heard of people stealing, right? Maybe you heard of one or two that they're punished. So you get scared. Oh, let me not do it. But now if you see, open the TV channel, everywhere, you know, politicians are stealing money, doctors are doing, selling the kidneys, and, and uh, <coughs> everywhere you see this. So what, what is, that, that means this news is encouraging us, okay. It's okay to do it. Go ahead and do it. It's giving information for you. No, but... Maybe to be careful or don't get cheated. Right, but, but that has become a main factor right now. If you open the news, they focus on the 95%, 99%, they tell about all bad things. It's hard to find one good, important, <coughs> nice, inspiring thing. So, the same thing applies in Google also. People are just going there. If you see the top searches in Google, uh, Radharan Maharaj was saying that uh, uh, until the 9-11 happened, until the 9-11 happened, the top keyword 
uh, in the internet was about six. So the moment 9-11 happened, it, drastically everything changed. People started searching about God. See, this is how the nature of the world is. In Google, in um, Raji Karaman Prabhu was saying, in 2009-2010, the top five keywords are um, Facebook, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. right? um, Michael Jackson, and different social networking sites in different countries. So what does it mean? This means that people are actually looking for relationships. More than the knowledge, right? So let us now divert this topic towards that. So we understood enough, right? How Google and God, but the thing is, let's first understand how weak our relationships are if we base our whole thing based on internet and Google because everything is becoming, it's important to discriminate and distinguish and understand the difference, right? If you don't do this, then, you know, we may end up being like other people who miserably failed in their life just putting internet in the center. Just putting this, you know, unnatural relationships in the center. For example, right, today's world also, the youth spend so much time on Facebook and all these things, right? But there are examples that uh, <coughs> Radhika Ramakur was saying, his friend, that his friend was one of the top users in Facebook. He has so many friends and so many stuff, everything is centered around him. In the earlier days, um, the Facebook, they deleted his account. Because he said he is using too much or too much traffic, then he was like he was like mentally dead. He doesn't know what to do now. Everything is gone in a moment, right? So the relationships, uh, this internet is is saying we are all in touch. In the beginning days, when you want to connect to internet, it makes a sound like like a connection, right? Now, now you, now you are connecting to the world. So we are always connected on the iPhone everywhere, right? But the thing is, we are connected through all these things, technology. But how much in touch we are really in? See, one on one people meeting is becoming so, <coughs> so difficult. Oh, you can do so many things: email, text, and phone, voice message, different different things. So we can't even. <coughs> You can see the research say when the small kids when they grow up, when you don't touch them, and then we just let them grow on their own, no touching, no kissing. The small children, they go through a different psychological problem. It's a worse effect on them. So the same thing happens to us because we are all looking for a relationship. That that's what these social networking sites are proving us. But where this will end up? Because see, you know, in the olden days. If internet is not there, all this stuff is not there. We are interested in the in the details, right? We want to you know get into the private lives, right? Private lives. Okay, you want to tell about your family, your pictures. How do we get it? In the olden days, we get it only by having a relationship, a solid trust based on faith and relationship. <coughs> Help each other. That's when we get into this. Now it's all available everywhere. You just go to Facebook, watch every all their profile pictures, right? You don't have to make any relationship with anyone. So this this inquisitiveness about getting into there, you know, so that's gone. So there is a you know already we are frustrated because everyone what everyone is looking out is for this relationship in their life. Isn't it true that when we when we born like what we want we want a relationship with the mother and father when we are young. We can only see this much, but that's what we are always looking forward. When we grow up, we want relationship with the opposite sex. The, the boys want to play, and then the teenage, and then you know, as soon as you get married, you know, <coughs> right? Uh, then we want a new relationship, like a, have kids. And we want, uh, then, then we want grandchildren. Different relationships. We are always looking for this perfect relationship in life, right? But in today's world, if you see how many best friends we have, really, we we discuss this one, this this topic in one of these Friday sessions. It's hard, right? Even if you, there are always problems with the relationship in this world. Two kinds of problems, generally, because everyone has a different personality, right? 
based on their last week we discussed different modes therein they have different personality <coughs> so our personality is different so although out of all these hundreds and thousands of people that we have <coughs> there only hardly few people 10 15 people that we know but even among those 10 15 there is a this problem that it doesn't match the personality is doesn't match we can really get along there is some block right somebody is in too much passion somebody is in too much goodness somebody is very slow somebody is too fast so you know someone likes to be always smiling and uh, be friendly they think this is the best way to do someone else think oh no you know you need to be equalize someone think oh no you need to be always very serious different different points right so this is uh, one thing so even if we um, get along to people how long is that relationship stay right because there is so much of fault finding and, and there is a lot of frustrations right why these frustrations are coming this internet we is actually increasing these frustrations um if you see uh, <clears throat> if you don't uh, one common problem is everyone puts himself in the center right in this world he is the center of this world that's why the religious state let's discuss a little bit further right in every relationship let's say you know you watch any any love story right but uh, everyone thinks he is the he is a little raja and then the other person is a queen for him right so um so that's uh, as long as we are in that centered around ourselves right they, we cannot really get close to anyone in life and the internet is just making it worse right in every person every living entity is thinking i am the center there's a funny story uh, uh, like if you if you see the movies right every movie is the same story same story there's a hero there's a heroine there's a fight there's a match most of the 90% of the movies ends with marriage right but what happens after marriage is most important <clears throat> the point is why we are hankry let's ask this question again for everyone right what brings us the most happiness when we meet this close friend right when we meet our parents i mean everything else is temporary it, it always in the mind right what when we come to america we think oh let me go to india let me be my parents my friends and family isn't that the highest pleasure we see or someone you love the most you want to meet them those we are all waiting for those pleasurable moments is it true how much money we make whatever we make is just for this pleasure we want to be in association with this uh, the best friends in our life right unfortunately actually google is making us i mean also one way it helps by staying in touch but that real touch is also needed in person right too much emails too much this and it's not it's very impersonal it it, it need, you need to be in person is a privilege right now this technology started to help that but now in in, in person is become a privilege hmm. so also sometimes uh, this Uh, anyway we discuss enough now we are getting to the relationship right now the point we want to make today is that then how we get satisfaction so if this is the ultimate satisfaction we are all looking for to have somebody some great relationship yeah. which can be great but how can we find it can we make google but look at look at god with krishna this fairy tale we we discuss everyone in every movie we are seeing it right but in reality we are not seeing it that that he is the center of everyone's life that happened only in case of god he can give us any kind of relationship that we want 
because he has all the personalities in him. See, we fail to reciprocate with each person in that style that they appreciate. Can we? Can we? Can we? Um, no, no, right? We can reciprocate with maybe one or two two styles, but because he is God, hmm? um, <coughs> someone says that God. Yes. For example, before we go go ahead, right? If you walk anyone outside the road, what is God? Right? Their understanding is, oh, God is nature. Nature is God. And then, little higher, they say, oh yeah, power, energy. This is God. Right? Some something higher. Yes, he is power. He is energy. But someone higher is saying he is energetic from where all the energy is coming from. He is the source of all the power. So he is there in your heart. He is there in my heart. So this is Paramatma. Okay? But we know that God is creator. Or we use a lot of things. Like God means he creates stuff. But it is said that Brahma, when Brahma met Krishna first, um, he discussed and said, okay, all the best for you, for your job. <coughs> that means he's not involved in creation. So he delegated it. A good manager is supposed to be delegating, right? Not micromanaging. Okay, right? So Krishna is delegating to Brahma, Indra, Varuna, different, different gods, different, different things. But what is he doing? What is he doing? Sorry? Having fun. Having fun. Just play. Just play. Just have relationships. That's all he does. And you, it is so hard. People speculate about God. They try to understand God with their senses and mind. No one can come up with such a definition of God unless they read Vedas. They think God is old with a long beard. They think God is dead, he created this universe and that. And some people think God is power, God is nature, God is that, God is this. But unless you know this information, the source, the source is important, as he said, right? The God is the source of Vedas. The Vedas coming from God Himself. So that's why, you know, even if it is confusing, even the Vedas appear to be wrong, even if it, it is so powerful. Because sometimes, as I said in Vedas, right? They say, on one side they say, if you see anything unclean, take shower. On the other side, they say, you take the cow dung and apply all over your house everywhere. This is how British have defeated us. They said, these Vedas are crazy. Their strategy is that we can defeat this Indian by, by destroying their Vedic culture. So they told this. Uh, what is this controversy? It's not right. But we know now that, uh, that the way cow dung is so antiseptic and it's used in all the cow use. everything from cow is so <coughs> purifying they use in the medicine all over it's so high in fact cow dung and cow urine this is more costly than milk so that much this medic medical field is using right now right sometimes we use oh, some of this stuff we use for the worshiping god it, it's not it's coming from you know some shell is, is made, it's a living entity's bone, right? Stuff like that. But there is a reason behind everything. So the source is very important. Now the Vedas say that God, he has no duty to do. He simply reciprocates. He is simply um, enjoying with his devotees. Right? You want, um, we fail to do that in this material world. That's why people are frustrated. You see, I mean, the love is so powerful in this material. Although it is um, misdirected, it is yet so powerful. Because I heard this police, they are not afraid to go where the terrorists are. But they are so scared to go when there is a family fight between two people. And I'm like, <laughs> so violently they can turn, they can kill police also. <laughs> Because the someone who you love most can hurt you most. Right? 
So that is how, you know, the whole thing is revolving around relationships. Everything is revolving around relationship at work, at home, at business, politics, everything. So it's so important that we have someone that we can trust fully, faith, faithfully and get this pleasure. Um, so what I'm saying is, yes, it's not that um, we should ignore other relationships. Here also, instead of keeping ourselves in the center, our proposal is put God in the center and have start having relationships with the wife and husband. Instead of thinking, I am the center of my house because I earn money. Right? If you start thinking, then you will miserably fail because how many people you will satisfy? <laughs> right? At work, they have some demands. At wife has some demands. Kids have some demands. Society has some demands. And the guru has some demands. So the point is, if you put God in the center, and everyone puts God in the center, Prabhupada explains, like in the water, you throw a stone, it creates a ripple. Right? And somebody else throw, throw a stone somewhere else, it creates a ripple. So it, 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 it appears to be so disturbing. But if you can throw a stone in the center, everyone throws in the same spot, how beautiful it looks. That's how this, this society is suffering because they are not putting God in the center. And this one solution can solve all the problems that you find in Google right now. <laughs> in the sense, you type any problem, you put this point in the center, in the home, right? Brothers fighting. Let's say in any family where the, where the father is the center, if the father is most lovable personality in the house, will the brothers fight generally? No. The fight comes when father is not in the center. Isn't it? Because they're disconnected from. Same thing. Now we people fight. Oh, I'm this country. Why we love India? Because I'm the center. So the country I I, I was born is great. That's it. It doesn't matter. Period. Right? I'm I'm in Tampa. Tampa is great. I'm in San Diego. This is great. Something like that. This kind of feeling people go through. Um, but if you put God in the center. All the relationship problems will be solved. And we also enjoy each other's relationships and plus we, God will reciprocate with us. Right? Did Krishna ever fail? Let's take over Krishna, right? I mean, he is... Uh, um, because other personalities came as a duty, like Ramachandra, he came. Um, he wants to show how an ideal human being should be because um, Ravana, he got so many boons, but he forgot to ask that to escape death from a human being because he doesn't steal. You know, he was so puffed up. So that's why he has to behave like a human being only. So he can't behave like how God behaves in the spiritual world. You know? um, and similarly, like Narsingha, he came just to protect his devotee. And he wants, doesn't want to offend Brahma by breaking his promise to Hiran Akashipu. But Krishna, he just showed how he is he? Like, um, if, if anyone asks, right, right, yes, God comes, he does a lot, lot of these things, right? But what is he doing when he is not doing any of these duties? That is what Krishna has shown us. That is how he is in the spiritual world. In this, even if he is, even if when he was here, Mahabharata then, right? Did he have any problem with relationship with anyone? He had relationship with everybody. Right? As a kid, you know, everyone like, likes him. He was centered in Vrindavan. And um, great warriors, he had a relationship with. Crazy people like Shishipal, he had a relationship with. Right? He, wherever he go, he was, he was the center. And everyone, he could reciprocate with everyone. Huh? And in Vrindavan, like, you know, we have this problem. Like when we have these few friends, oh, it's been so long, you didn't call me. Uh, you become so busy. They start complaining, right? We, we can't catch up with our friends. We have to work hard, right? To, to maintain the relationship, to keep in touch. But, uh, but Krishna didn't have that problem when he was here. Every gopi, every gopa, they were thinking, Oh, I'm so fortunate. What did I do that I'm so dear to Krishna? Everyone is thinking like this. Why am I so special to him? And we know this famous Rasa Lila dance. Every gopi was thinking that Krishna is dancing with, with her. Privileged. 
So he doesn't have any um, problem in reciprocating with our relationships. He is um, he's expert. He will, um, <clears throat> he will, yeah, he will let us, he want to be like his friend. He want to seem like a small baby or he want to, to uh, you know, treat him like a lover, like, um, like anyone, like any like comes I have a relationship. So the point is he is giving pleasure. If you know, God, if we can add him um, in the center of our life, then we will see a whole new world. Right? So we just have to pray to our mind. Just this mind, the Kulashekar Maharaj, he prays him on his face that, Oh mind, don't you know that why are you always lazy and always confused? Why are you in so much anxiety? Don't you know that Sri Dara, the, the husband of Lakshmi, he is uh, he's your best friend and he is reciprocating with you? Right? Like this, if we can pray, and uh, let's see what happens. So we need to also make, uh, do a little bit of work to maintain this relationship with God, because He's just reciprocating. We want to forget. Okay, He let us go far away from Him, because He doesn't want to for force us. Right? He's God. Even our best friends don't force us. Why would God force us? Right? So the little bit of thing what we have to do uh, to have this relationship with Krishna is to remember Him in pain or pleasure. Right? In remember Him like in, in a trouble or in happiness. And um, we have to chant His names. Right? That is the best uh, way to have a connection with God right now because that Prabhu just sent email two days back. Even if you, God comes in front of us with these poor instruments of our senses, we cannot see Him. We cannot really appreciate Him. Because we are too conditioned. This mind and senses are too, too conditioned. Right? Even a sannyasi comes, we can't uh, see uh, and uh, see the good, I mean, the great greatness behind them. So we have to, so similarly, just like God, when we come in contact with his names, when we hear about him a lot, this sambandha will happen, right? And then, the more you come in touch with his energy, right, his name, his form, his qualities, we become more qualitatively like that, thank God. And the great Acharyas, great Vaishnavas, uh, Gurus, they are like, they have developed this quality just like God. See, Prabhupada, he came, right? He was able to relate with everyone. There was no problem. When he came in the beginning, they were so crazy, hippies, and breaking all kinds of Vedic principles. He had no problem. He could relate with them, with whatever good quality they have. He transformed them. And um, with everyone, like, that is how they, they try to be in the center of everyone's life. So slowly, we get such qualities. And then what happens is, we will be very successful in our relationships. You know, our partner feels so happy because we will be in the center of their life. We will get that power. We will get that um, techniques and, you know, that compassion and uh, that mood will come. And we will be the center of our, uh, the team that we work with in the office. We'll be in the center of the partners in the business. We can be in the center of the society. No problem. Like some of the Acharyas, like um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's direct disciples, they're called Mandalapati. You know, in, the, in, in today's world, it is the success. The simple way to define success is that, uh, let me see what the time is. Success is that if you are happy within the society, where you are well respected, no frustration, you cannot satisfy the whole world. That is the success. So they are mandala patis. Wherever they go, they are. Um, for example, Rupa Goswami, he is called. Um, we are called Rupa Nugas. He is the direct disciple of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who initiated this sankirtana, chanting the names as the main principle for 
practicing religion. That is what Prabhupada propagated in the West, right? So his disciples, um, he wrote how many books, how many verses? It's like one million verses. Mahabharat, whole Mahabharat has hundred thousand verses, but he has like ten times different verses he wrote, and he summarized whole thing in eleven verses, which is called nectar of instruction, which on Thursdays um, Ramya Prabhu takes the class on krishna.com slash live. So in these 11 verses, which is supposed to be the summary of all these million verses, he is mentioning about, so in each verse, in the first verse like vacho vegam manaso krodo vegam vifa vegam udarpasta vegam etan vegam so vishaheta diran shishyan prithivimsa shishya. So he says, one who tolerates urges of tongue, belly and the genitals, like this he goes on, he can make disciples all over the world. So that means he is in one verse is he's, he's elevating people that he can become guru. First verse he'll become guru. So that's how quick he is summarizing the things. But he is telling that associating with saintly people, three times in three verses he repeats it. You see how important it is. Three times he repeats it. And I can say any, any better than this. So we should always look for associating with saintly people who don't think that they are center of this world. It's very important. If we keep, us keep associating with people who think they are the center of the world and we are also thinking center of the world and there is a competition. But if you associate with people who don't think that God is the center of their life and they will nicely accommodate us. They are happy to serve us. They are happy to answer our questions, reveal our mind, you know, like a brother. Because now they put center of the God and they know that for your life also God is the center, although we may be an illusion. So that way they treat us like a true brothers and sisters. There is no loss or gain in this, no, in this just like in the, you know, in the network marketing they, they keep advertising, right? You don't lose anything by doing that, doing this. So in this step, the more you help, the more you share, the more you serve others, the more you feel happy. I think I'll stop here and we can take any questions. So let me summarize the whole thing. We started looking at um, Google versus God. We started giving arguments about why Google can be God. And we were not so comfortable giving it, but we tried. Huh? And then we started talking on behalf of God. And I started to refute huh? a new definition of God. Why can't my Google fit in? So he all shot me with many bullets huh? that <coughs> Google can never place God. So the, then we understood that uh, Google just gives information. Right? And that also she shared 70% they use just for testing. Mm -hmm. The rest of the time they use, try to use their, enjoy their senses the movies and this and that. Very few people are looking for information. And if you are going to look for information, it's just the information overload. Too much information, you're confused. Like you want to take a small appointment tomorrow. Swain Prabhu got like 11 people. So he's overwhelming. What did I do? You know, I had to call all these 11 people. So anyway, the source is very important. So that's why we keep going back to the source. Someone who's expert in that field. You take the guidance. Okay, so it's okay to search in Google, but please, please verify the source. That's why we fill the source, Prabhupada's you know, books and knowledge, we keep uploading. We, we, we have to do our part, because the world is progressing towards that, so we have to catch up with the world, right? When they're trying to look for answers on internet, so we have to also be ready for that. That's why we do all this service, dumping all the as much as we can. So information should lead to transformation. Hmm? If the knowledge cannot discriminate between illusion and reality and if it cannot um, if it cannot uh, be used for the welfare of everyone then that is not actually fitting in the real knowledge as per the definition of the Vedas. Right? And then we know how uh, how Google is supposed to be everyone is using it so we can understand now you know, it's just not even me 
whole world is looking for these relationships that you can get it by top search websites in Google. So that means people are interested in this. That's why Facebook has become like, you know, one of the top. Bill Gates has to work so hard to so become so rich, right? But this Facebook, um, they found this key principle and within no time, they didn't know anything. This is a simple website, how they become so. So when we, have, when we understand this secret in life, we can also become like successful, just like the Facebook has become successful. So we have to understand what we really need. We are so crazy about everything, right? We go to work, we are associating with so many people who are crazy about so many things and we get mixed up with them. But they may be lost, but why should I be lost with them? I don't want to be lost. I want knowledge. I don't want just information overloading. Okay? If we associate with them, yes, that's fine. But I associate with them just to help them in, to share what we know rather than just getting lost with um, unnecessary crazy goals okay so so we started discussing how relationships is what everyone is looking for hmm? the problem is the olden days relationship is better let's say you talk about a small village like right how the relationship was not present villages present village everyone has tv and all these things so tv has become center of their life in the house center there's a tv big tv so in devotee's house god is in the center that's the difference it is said in british time what british have ruled 100 years but they couldn't much influence our culture but the tvs have taken over within this next 100 years 50 years they've ruined the whole thing so this is what is association right so we started looking at the relationships how um, strong they used to be in the before why people were happy in the olden days they didn't have a lot of ipods ipads they don't have a lot of these technologies, but they were so content, they were so happy, peaceful, they know a lot, lot of knowledge. Why? Because they had strong relationships. Nice. Yeah, what is that saying called? What it takes to raise a child? What takes to raise a child? Such in Google. Right? It takes a village to, to raise a child. That's what they say. It takes a village. So the village represents the relationships. How nicely they are, you know, they are in the center of the place and um, everyone is, everyone has a relationship within each family and it is so centered. Any small problem in a house and everyone, so you are so careful about the society, the culture was to help us become purified in the olden days. But now there is, so why so much crime? Although there is so much security, right? One night there is a power cut in New York City. The crimes in that night is far more greater than whole year in India, something like that. So, because there is no society is not helping them to be pure, to be... Uh, so, you don't care, you don't have a relationship with anyone. Who, who cares? I can wear any kind of dress I, I like. I can behave as I like. This is, the society and culture is supposed to be guiding us. Culture means what? Culture is the one which facilitates someone to achieve a goal. Work culture helps us to deliver things fast. Temple culture helps us to progress. Right? Party culture makes us enjoy. Similarly, the Vedic culture means helps everyone to um, get their goal of life, which is to progress spiritually. Now, the problem in India is people, uh, today's world, they have this culture, but they don't know the goal. So they're confused. Why I have to do this? They don't know. Um, but in the olden days, this culture was so nice that they had a great relationships in the society. Everyone was helping each other to do good things better. You know, bad they were hiding. As if it's so sinful to even talk. It is actually. It doesn't help by discussing too much bad. It doesn't help at all. But today, you know, by, by chance you turn on a news channel in India, 99%. You don't have to go anywhere. You can't even live with your children. You open a TV, what kind of crazy stuff they are discussing. So this is um, not taking us anywhere. So that means we become, although we are, we got so many modern things, but people are still unsatisfied. As we discussed, the love between, relationship between two things, two people is so violent sometimes, right? And uh, the more far we go from the real touch to the electronic touch, the more problems it will create. 
so we need to get back to the real touch sometimes once in a while one on one invite somebody to home and have a dinner talk put switch off the cell phones because what happens is two people meet and then suddenly my phone will start ringing or oh, 24 by 7 support production problem mm-hmm. some let's say they have to log in or uh, <laughs> um somebody else call you and then you two people meet to talk and then they keep talking on the phone this kind of things are happening um so how to solve how to get our real um, best friend is is he god he is the he is he can satisfy every relationship right we may not be able to relate with other people because they have different personalities but with god we can right he reciprocates and he is he is full let's say in material world let's say you like someone like how does this love story starts triangles and all these things right you love someone and somebody loves and you have to kill them let's say because it's just <laughs> with god doesn't happen like that god can love everyone yes but he is still 100% let's say he is pleased with me and he gives 50% to me does it mean that he is only has 50% to the rest of the world as isha upanishad says पूर्णमध पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदर्चित पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमे विशेष सो यून इफ यू टेक फुल एंड मेक इट हाफ दट वॉट इज रिमेनिंग इज टू फुल्स अगेन सो दैट इज गॉड सो डोंट वरी समटाइम्स यू नो इट इट इज सो ह्यूमिलेटिंग टू थिंक वॉट यू नो ऑल द वी डू सो मच ऑफ सर्विस लुक एट अनलिमिटेड यूनिवर्सिस सो मेनी डिवोडीज विल गॉड रियली रिमेंबर मी this kind of feeling some of the devotees get you know does he really care about my service he has so many wonderful de- hanuman pandavas huh? and to me devotees but he does care because he is full he can reciprocate with everyone no problem for him so have that faith and start developing our relationship with the, with the lord right um he can fulfill any kind of relationship that we are looking for and he can um, be the best friend the only thing we have to do is unless we if we don't have him, even have time to chant that means we are not valuing this is a very good thing right it is so easily available chaitanya mahaprabhu came and gave this process uh, it is so simple you just have to grab even if you don't have mala just chant his name hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare you say this is a mobile number of lord you just dial it and he gets connected to us and we can start and you can see how how many wonders will happen in our life it happened to millions of people it happened to me it happened to you know there is no loss even a little bit of progress in this path towards god we we are safe from greatest dangers so um so this is the conclusion to chant his names to eat prasadam so this food all everything is offered to the lord in front of the right so he spiritualizes it in the offer with love and like this uh, and he is saying associate with the devotees he is saying approach a guru and take shelter in many places he is saying worshiping my my devotees are better than me for she will be so he is delegating stuff huh? his only duty is to play with the devotees reciprocate so if you can as i was saying um the essence if you want the essence of everything in the vedas right it is about sadhu sanga sadhu sanga sarva shastra hoy lava matra sadhu sanga sarva siddhi hoy means we are looking for a lot of knowledge shastra means knowledge right the conclusion is sadhu sangha sadhu is a a devotee a, a, a person who in whose life god is in center right sangha means like sat sangha sat sangha is also sadhu sangha sarva shastra hoy you get all knowledge sarva every knowledge the essence of all the knowledge you get just by associating with the devotee lava matra lava means One third of a second, love a matra, sadhu sangha. Uh, one third of second of association with the pure devotee of the Lord can give us a lot of siddhis. We're looking for perfection. We'll be perfected just by association with them. So, 
Any questions? The conclusion is really that we can strengthen our relationship with Lord. We do not look, look around throughout the, um, throughout the world. And whoever relationships we already have, that, that will become stronger the moment we put God in the center. Okay? Uh, and then we do that by chanting again. Chanting the names, eating prasadam, associating with sadhus. Uh, and using Google. As Mathe said, we can use Google now to find spiritual things. Instead of finding some, you know, <laughs> crazy stuff. So Google is a tool. Right? It, it can be used just like a tool. It can never replace God. That's the conclusion. So, can we, like it's a tool, right? Microphone is a tool. It's helping me to, if I don't have to shout, it's generally I have a low voice, right? So, uh, should I start worshipping this? Or I have a hammer. Will I start worshipping hammer? It's, it's a tool helping me. So, Google is actually, internet, Google, all this. These are the tools to get us. It can, the tool can help us, you know, do a bad thing or good thing. A knife. You can use a knife to operate someone as a doctor or kill someone. So that is how this Google is being used. Right now. So we want to use it for a good purpose and appreciate this great service they are doing to the humanity. Thank you very much. So you can ask any question out of topic. We can just sit in a... Uh, sadhu Sangha means talk to sadhus. There are some sadhus here. Each one of us are sadhu, so let's also say it with each other. So I appreciate your patience and inspiring us by coming here and giving us opportunity to speak. So not only helping yourself, myself, we also help my friends, my relatives, our friends, because we try to upload this information. As I said, the source is what people are really interested in, intelligent people, right? So although there is so much information on the web, although there are so many great acharyas spoken this, I am nothing in front of Radhika Raman Prabhu who is such a great soul, right? But unless we know the source, people are not interested to go there. Unless there is a relationship, right, people are not progressing. That's why each one of us have to become guru. That's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. Every Indian should become a guru to liberate them. Because this thing can happen only by relationship. And then your friends will be relating with you. Oh, you have a oh you go there? Oh yeah, you can see me also there. Just please hear this. So now this relationship that we have with them, that we can connect. God. And help each other. But the, another problem we didn't discuss is in Google, everything is changing always. Any knowledge that coming from human being, it always changes. Because they are speculating. One day they say true, next day they say false. This also fits in the knowledge. If something is always changing, that is not knowledge. Knowledge is something that should be always fixed. The Vedas stood the test of time. You, know, you search something in Google today and tomorrow it is different. Everything, everyone is constantly updating with it. 